It's been quite an evolution over the last three months. Uh, we've uh, been involved from the beginning through all the processes of assessing our spacecraft, uh, Calypso, and um, it was uh, trying at times. It was, uh, there were some tough times all the way through. You certainly, as uh, the commander and the PLT of your spacecraft, you don't want to see it go off without you, but that's where we wound up. And through all the process, uh, most of the news we heard as we would hear things uh, over the news waves and, and uh, the different means that we have to get information up here, that 80% uh, of the time you'd hear Sonny and Butch, Butch and Sonny, Sonny and Butch, Butch and Sonny. And I just want everybody to know how much we appreciate that. We're excited to fly in two different spacecraft. I mean, we're testers. That's what we do. You know, we look at different aircraft, spacecraft, whatever, evaluate it, um, and that's a pretty unique opportunity. Uh, I think, like you know, this was not the very first option. We wanted to take Starliner to the completion and land it back on land at home. Um, but, you know, you have to turn the page and look at the next opportunity and, you know, do good for the agency and the country. And we'll come back with some evaluations of both spacecraft. And that, I think we're pretty fortunate for that. We could have gotten to the point, I believe, where we could have returned on Starliner. But we just simply ran out of time because there's other tests that need to be done, and other assessments that need to be done, and had we had a little more time, then we could have done it. I sent down my request for a ballot today, as a matter of fact, uh, and they should get it to us in a couple of weeks, and absolutely, yes, uh, it's a very important uh, role that we all play as citizens is to uh, be included in those elections, and NASA makes it very easy for us to do that, so we're excited about that opportunity. Um, you asked what we miss, right? Of course, you know, the things that we always miss, our families. I miss my two dogs, I miss my friends. But you know what, like Butch said, there are so many people uh, on Earth that are sending us messages and it, it makes you feel just right at home with everybody when we're able to have those conversations with our friends and family at home. So I know they understand. I know it's, a, it's tough on, on them as well as, you know, being away from home, of course. But uh, everybody understands and everybody's cheering for us to get back with Crew 9. This is my happy place. I love being up here in space. It's just fun. You know, every day you, you do something that's work quote unquote, you can do it upside down, you can do it sideways. <laughs> so it adds a little different perspective. And you know, about staying up here longer, one of the things I was sort of regretting about a short duration flight is I wasn't going to be able to share it with a lot of people. One of the things I like to do up here is sort of write like a little recap of the week and send it down to people so they can see what fun we're having and what, you know, what kind of work we're doing up here.